Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of WWE Supercard. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell, and I would say we've got Team ID for Finn Balor, but we're done. We've got the Ultimate Sheamus, and we have got the uh, WrestleMania Fit Free Finn Balor, so let's go to the Team Shard Breakdown. We've got Irfan with 52 shards, go and check out his YouTube channel, Irfan Sabah, as usual, beast in it. We've got Oliver with 32 shards, we've got Dark Savior 1047, which is Matt, who is really with Matt, with 32 shards, we've got Decast 316, between 4 shards, go and check out his YouTube channel, Deep and Rock Metal. I settle up 5th with 22 shards. We've got Manuel 15 shards, Crispy with 10, go and check his YouTube channel, Crispy Crazy Card. We've got Fireproof with 8, Renato with 6, and John H has got 1, but he's only got 1 because he has actually got a genuine reason, and it's not a reason for me to say to you guys it's a private issue. So, yeah, nothing's going to be happening to John, he's still going to be part of the team because it was a genuine issue issue and a personal issue so yeah um king of ring we'll go to and instead of playing addy currently 34 nine currently has me in second place so i'm virtually guaranteed second place because i lost to nick all three games with the qualifiers so that's how i've done against mr mcmanus and ratchetson see if it if I was to lose these two games, where would put me? I beat him, lost to him, lost to Ratchetson, beat Mr. McManus, beat Ratchetson. So I'm guaranteed third place, it seems. But, yeah. Because I've beat Ratchetson, but I haven't beat Mr. McManus. But let's see if he's one of the ones I can, if if I can actually beat them or if it was just unlucky. Well, if it's guaranteed wins for him. He beats me there. I win there. He wins there. He wins there. And I win there. So let's, right, what's his Cesaro? So let's see what, it's, what his other tag is like. And that Cesaro. Right, so he's got as well. Cesaro again and Jeff. So what's his other attack like? Same. So yeah, hopefully I can get to the finals and get uh WrestleMania for three card make my third. WrestleMania Fit Free Final in four King Ring. So yeah, um ground out five thousand forty minutes away from the attack phase. This deck I've got got Ultimate Sasha, WrestleMania Free Bailey, Ultimate Machine, Ultimate Biggie, Elite Dice and Elite Kobe Kingston. Or you have to do to do but a decent deck a good deck now for the fourth for the fourth. We went on to for the second um, team battleground in a row now. So yeah, this is the deck I'm kind of rocking with. Like Brock, he needs a few ultimate games, and Bray needs a few as well. I get easy wins using this deck, and then getting games done on Bailey as well, so I can get her pro as soon as possible. So yeah, probably play two or three matches here on Wild, or we'll probably play two reset and then go to my second account. Shout out the guys there, and then play one or two bouts of our of our um Adi. Like uh, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say RTG for some reason. So yeah, uh, con to super card. We may ha we might be having a tease of who the event card is gonna be this week. In my honest opinion, I say it's gonna be Jinder Mahal because it's a Spectre event next. Uh, it makes sense being Jinder. Or it could be AJ, or it could be KO. They would make sense as well. So yeah, could be Tai, could be Sinchke. Obviously, we'll find out today or tomorrow. Obviously. <laughs> so yeah, could even no, yeah, it could even be Randy, even though he did have a event card in on Matia. But you never know. As I said, it is super card at the end of the day. So let's go up against Lycan Twenty Third. 
So after this, I'll probably carry on playing. Obviously, it's become on both accounts, and I'm going to be playing 2K17 quite a bit because I'm like two or three matches away from WrestleMania, and I should be f facing Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavy title on my career. Of course, I did win the Rumble, but I am the United States champion as well. So I don't know if I will be fighting if I'll be defending the US and fight for the world title or not. Like at the Rumble as well, when I won the Rumble. At the start of the show, I was defending my US title against Cena. And then on Fastlane, I was defending my title against Cena and then fighting Luke Harper later on. So, you never know, you know? You never know, you know. Wow, well, I'm Aaron, GG. So, yeah, we're going to go up against Red and then we'll go across to my second account where we'll sh shout out my team members and show my team battlegram deck there and play... One or two games on RTG. So yeah, Brock Lesnar's gonna hit the F5 and Cesaro. Um, Raw as well. It's kind of disappointing. It wasn't exactly the best of episodes. To be fair, the Gauntlet match really annoying. To, to be fair, except I, I know people. It was kind of obvious they weren't gonna win, but I was actually hoping to see Truth and Gold actually win the turmoil match, but he didn't. I'm positive. Miz against Bala was meant to be for Miz's title, Intercontinental title shot. Bala won, but they, they didn't call him the number one contender, which doesn't make sense. Um, Yeah, it ended in a DK winner, but they had Joe and Rollins on Raw when that was meant to be a feud. They should, like, they split up Miz and, and um, Bala's rivalries. Like, they mixed them together because it was Dean against Bray, Miz against Bala. But Rollins and Joe should have been part of the equation as well, in my opinion. So it should be like, for example, Dean against Joe, Seth against Bray, and Bala against Miz, maybe. But, hey, uh, WWE. So, yeah, money in the bank here. I gotta try and get to. Where is it? Rewards. 8,945. So, just under a K, 1k in one day in 15 hours. To get the Alexa Bliss, because my rewards here. Um, from the latest team background was I need to go back to my main account after this as well. Um, it was let me get to it, an Alexa Bliss. So that is a pro for me. So I'm gonna try and get it, and I'm gonna try and get twenty two point eight k money in the bank contract. So at least then I can I am ready to claim for one con one of the people. So this is the deck I've got here. Second obviously with Bailey Cena, then we've got the Cup of Braun and Brian Kendrick usually wants to throw away. Obviously I'll use Bailey first and then Natty. So yeah, um Ring Domination here, we are currently on the hard and Big E. We've got the elite card which was Titus O'Neill. So shout out to Jimmy the Kid, five twenty nine shards, blinking him with twenty six shards. That is suit to Silver God's second account, obviously as you know I am. I did join and I am helping them out. That's me with 24 shards. We've got Heel Jr. 16 shards. Be Great with 15 shards. Woody LFC 1992 with 11 shards. Sting with 11. Q Dog with 9. Harrison with 7. And Star Hero with 3. So, yeah, I'm going to play both of these matches and then we'll go across to my main account where we'll have some updates on WrestleMania 33 cards. Obviously, most of you probably already know anyway. I need to update you on how I did an RTG on the King of the Ring I was in and on my team battleground results, which you may, which you probably already know all of them anyway. Especially um, the team battleground results and rewards. So yeah, that was an easy, quick victory there. I kind of prefer having those victories, I'm kind of going for the perfect win because it's just nice and quick. By the time you w try and work, like get the perfect win, to be fair, you end up probably can end up playing probably playing two bouts with a straight five four victories. And are we going to find a shard? No, we're not. But we find two charge cards. So yeah, if we're gonna play this last match. Oh, I had two picked up. I didn't realize. So we're gonna find a shard. This attempt, if we win, that is, and then I'll do the charges and then go to my main account. Should we try to take it there? 
one. Ten minutes, not bad. Oh, they're gonna take a uh, power charisma. They proc, so they're gonna win, which doesn't leave me in a good position to be honest with you guys. So we put Dolph there. Let's just challenge Joe with Reza. Is it? Yeah, Reza. Actually got it right. Quite surprised right to be honest with you. And there we go. So we're currently up three two. Let's just hope he doesn't attack Reza. Yes he does. But does will Reza proc? Yes, he does, but he ain't as good as Brock. Brock, 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 Brock. So we'll take Brock with Harlem Pro Brock Lesnar, and hopefully he doesn't challenge Brock if it goes there or just puts a weaker card in than a Harlem Pro. But you know what Supercard's like, so they probably screw me over. Oh no, they don't. Surprise, surprise. See, that one seems to go lame, but we actually had to work for that one then. So yeah. So we're gonna get the shard now. What's it gonna be? Ladder. Dean Ambrose. Uncommon power. It's a pick doubler. Yeah, my dou I doubled my picks. <laughs> so yeah, Mr. Perfect. Oh, two shards. Happy with that. Oh, I did get a hard on uh, not hard on ultimate pull here as well doing the setup for the last team background I'll get to that now. Uh, my cards. Ultimate. It was Finn Balor. Oh, Finn Balor. Always Finn as you know. So yes yeah, so let's set. Well not set. Let's put the charges on the cards. But the, ones, the main ones done. It was just the two which could be. It was just sandbags. But oh well. So Let's go across to my main account. I, I did get Elite Goldust there as well. I was like 11 points off Goldust at the end of Saturday night. But I barely played. So. That's not where I at. But I did, as I said, they did get Goldust. I was like 11 points off him at the end of Saturday. Barely played, didn't remember about it. At the end of the day, but we're back here now for my for the update on the cards. WrestleMania 33. My King of the Ring award was Roman Reigns, which, as you can see, is now pro. Grinded it um, before the team event game done. I managed to. And then. Did I get Bailey or didn't I? Yes, I did. There she is. There's Finn Balor from the Team ID. And my Team Balor Grunt Road was Charlotte Flair. So if I manage to get Charlotte Pro, which I know Irvin did today, like you said, my gun, then that would work perfect with Bailey because she's the best in it. She's the best regular pro in the tier and a barrel power toughness, Bailey, down arrow, down arrow speed and charisma. So yeah, so that's going to be it for today guys, we'll be back again soon with another edition of W Supercard. I've been your host, Aaron Mitchell from the hashtag Broke One signing off. As always, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below for more. And as always, don't forget to peace out.